We will now describe each of the PDP-11 computers in greater detail, beginning with the LSI-11 and the PDP-1103 microcomputers. A typical LSI-11 microcomputer is configured by selecting a specific combination of printed circuit boards or modules. These modules are then interconnected by plugging them into a backplane assembly. The backplane assembly distributes power and bus signals to all of the LSI-11 printed circuit boards. One of these circuit boards is called the microcomputer module. This module contains three major system components, the 16-bit central processor, an I.O. bus port, and up to 4K words of solid-state MOS memory. Notice that the entire central processor is implemented on just four semiconductor chips. These four chips perform all of the instruction decoding, bus control, and arithmetic logic functions required by the LSI-11 system. An additional socket is provided on the microcomputer board to accommodate a fifth semiconductor chip. This optional chip extends the LSI-11 instruction set to include fixed point and floating point arithmetic functions. Fixed point operations include multiply, divide, and multiple shifts. Floating point operations include add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Eight general purpose registers are provided in this LSI-11 microcomputer module. Two of these registers, R6 and R7, are normally used as the stack pointer and program counter. The other six general registers are not dedicated to specific functions, and therefore they may be used as accumulators, index registers, and for addressing data stored in memory. The LSI-11 microcomputer can be expanded by adding different types of memory expansion modules and I.O. interface modules to the basic system. The memory expansion modules include non-volatile core memory, which is expandable in 4K word increments, and solid-state MOS memory, which is expandable in either 1K or 4K word increments. A programmable read-only memory, or PROM, is also available. This PROM module can be expanded in 256 word increments up to 2,048 words or 512 word increments up to 4,096 words. The LSI-11 interface modules include a serial line unit to accommodate serial communications devices such as a teleprinter or a display terminal. A general purpose 16-bit parallel line interface is also offered to customers for use with special devices. The LSI-11 microcomputer, the memory expansion modules, and the I.O. interface units all communicate over a single bus. This I.O. bus is part of the backplane assembly that we talked about earlier. The bus structure used in the LSI-11 is not compatible with the PDP-11 unibus. Let's look at the major differences between these two bus structures. The PDP-11 Unibus has one set of lines for data and another separate set of lines for addresses. The LSI-11, on the other hand, transmits data and addresses over the same set of lines. Also, the PDP-11 Unibus contains four hardware interrupt levels. In contrast, just one interrupt level is implemented on the LSI-11 bus. With its 16-bit address, the LSI-11 can reference a maximum of 32K words or 64K bytes. Memory locations and I.O. registers are both addressed in exactly the same manner. The top 4K of the address space is available for referencing I.O. registers, just as in the other PDP-11 systems. The balance of the address space is then used for addressing storage locations in main memory. Both word and byte addressing are allowed. The other microcomputer in the PDP-11 family is the 1103. The PDP-1103 uses the same printed circuit modules as the LSI-11. However, in the 1103, the printed circuit modules are installed in a rack-mountable enclosure. The enclosure also houses a power supply, cooling fans, and an operator's panel. Thus, the 1103 is a packaged version of the LSI-11. As we noted earlier in this study unit, the LSI-11 is sold primarily to OEMs, while the 1103 is marketed to both OEMs and high-volume end-users. 
Now, let's direct our attention to the next category of computers in the PDP-11 family. The 1104, 1105, and 1110 mini computers are used primarily for dedicated applications. We'll begin by describing the major characteristics that are common to all three of these mini computers. Eight general purpose registers are implemented in each of these mini computers. In addition, the 1104, 1105, and 1110 utilize the same bus structure. All communications between system components take place over the 56-line Unibus. Four levels of hardware interrupts are implemented on the PDP-11 Unibus. An NPR level is also provided to accommodate direct memory access transfers. Memory management hardware is not available on the 1104, 1105, or 1110 minicomputers. Therefore, the maximum address space is 32K words. 4K of the available address space must be reserved for I.O. register addresses. Therefore, these minicomputers can accommodate up to 28K words of main memory. The 1104, 1105, and 1110 differ in three major areas. Types of memory, processing speed, and standard features. The 1104 offers customers a choice of MOS memory or core memory. The 1105 and the 1110 use core memory only. They do not accommodate faster MOS memory. The PDP-1104 executes instructions faster than the 1105 or 1110. For example, an addition involving the contents of two general purpose registers takes 2.7 microseconds in an 1104. By comparison, the same addition requires 3.7 microseconds in the 1105 and 1110. Features such as a programmer's console, real-time clock, and serial communication line interface are sold as optional hardware in the 1104. This allows an OEM customer to purchase a low-cost processor in a modular way. In the 1105 and 1110, these features are standard items. In other words, the programmer's console, real-time clock, and serial communication line interface are part of the basic computer package. At this point, let's describe each of the features listed in our chart. A programmer's console is standard on the 1105 and 1110. This console contains switches and lamps that are necessary for depositing data into memory and for examining previously stored data. Most of these switches and lamps are excluded from the operator's panel that is implemented on the PDP-1104. Instead, the 1104 uses a ROM front panel emulator. Special routines are hardwired into this read-only memory so that it effectively replaces or emulates basic console functions when the appropriate keys are pressed on an ASCII terminal. Thus, console operations such as load, examine, deposit, and start can be initiated from the ASCII terminal. Another standard feature on the 1105 and 1110 is a real-time clock. The real-time clock generates an internal timing signal that allows the central processor to keep track of when events happen. The timing signal is supplied to the CPU in the form of a program interrupt. A serial communication line interface, or SCL, is also part of the standard 1105 and 1110 computers. This interface can be used to operate a local terminal, such as a console teleprinter or a keyboard display. Notice that the SCL interface is not connected to the Unibus. Instead, it communicates with the CPU over an internal bus. The ROM bootstrap loader is a standard feature on the PDP-1104 minicomputer. It is also available as a customer option on the 1105 and 1110. The ROM bootstrap loader allows the central processor to automatically load system programs into main memory from standard peripheral devices, such as a paper tape reader, magnetic tape unit, or disk. A separate bootstrap loader is pre-programmed into the ROM for each type of peripheral device. On the PDP-1104, the bootstrap loader can be initiated three different ways. Automatically, whenever a power-up condition occurs, manually, by pressing the boot switch located on the 1104 operator's panel, or by typing in a bootstrap command from an ASCII terminal. Before we go on to the next category of PDP-11 computers, 
Let's summarize the major characteristics of the 1104, 1105, and 1110. These mini computers contain eight general purpose registers, and they can accommodate a maximum memory size of 28K words. They also incorporate the same bus structure, the PDP-11 Unibus complete with four hardware interrupt levels and one NPR level for direct memory access. The 1104 offers customers a choice of fast MOS memory or non-volatile core memory. The 1105 and 1110, on the other hand, are available with core memory only. All three mini computers execute the same basic set of instructions. However, the instruction execution times for the 1104 are faster. As noted in our chart, a register-to-register -register transfer requires 2.9 microseconds in the 1104 versus 3.1 microseconds in the 1105 and 1110. A programmer's console, real-time clock, and serial communication line interface are standard items on the 1105 and 1110. In the 1104, these features are sold as optional hardware. The 1104 is marketed to both OEMs and end users. The 1105 is strictly an OEM computer. Its counterpart, the 1110, is sold to end users. This completes our discussion of the first two categories of PDP-11 computers. Now, return to your workbook for review material and practice exercises. The workbook will tell you when to proceed to Part C of this study unit.